This is Jimi Hendrix, and this is episode three, The Cap Method, on Empower 360. My name is Jimi Hendrix, James Anthony Hendrix Jr., but you can call me Jimmy. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I am a motivational speaker. I want to help you to find a more and better extraordinary life. I'm, I'm hoping to give you these spiritual and temporal tips to help you overcome the adversities in everyday life. Okay, what I'm going to do here is have a little simulated audience here. A little motivation here. We're going to be talking about a CAP method. Now, this helps you this is a self-coaching technique that I have developed <laughs> almost 30 years. I'm 51. Almost 30 years uh, next year of self-coaching that I have done. And so what we're going to do is head over to this simulated audience here over at the Proactive Center. So get ready. Here we go. Thank you. How are you guys doing? My name is uh, James A. Hendrick Jr., but you can call me Jimmy. I'm here to talk to you about a self-coaching method that I've used, mental health-wise, that has helped challenge the negative thoughts. Now, the method that I've used, I developed over a period of 30 years of coaching myself, mental health-wise. And it originally started out as record of dysfunctional thoughts. Then it turned into regular record of negative thoughts. Now, listen to this. This is something I learned from Kirk Duncan. He was talking about dragon slaying. And I thought, well, I'll employ that. And I thought, I was talking to my friend Michael, and he was like, Jimmy, let's make it more down home. I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, let's just call them critters. So, you guys know the negative thoughts that come from the adversary of our souls, the, the devil, the negative thoughts. You know about them critters. I thought so too. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing about them critters. Them critters from our negative thoughts that are created by the adversary of our souls, even if we leave them behind without proactively dealing with them, well, they're just going to keep spewing their venom and they're like, well, I'm, we're just, I'm just going to keep spewing my venom and wait for you to come back and hit you that way. You ever thought about that? I know you have. And so, you need to combat them with some things, okay? Now, I want you to consider this every time. I prefer to doing this on odd days. Odd days when you're having like a bad day, you know, odd, odd number days, you know, like 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. You know, today is the 23rd of February, so this would be one of those days, but... It's not one of those days for me because I've been vacationing with some family. And I got to say this, guys. If it wouldn't been one of them days, I would have done a critterotomy. So get ready. That's C-R-I-T-T-E-R-O-T-O-M-Y. So you guys know. And then you do the time of entry. The, the time in which you were you're doing this, you do the date, and then after, after you do the date, what you do is you write a, a subject line, an R-E, if you will, 
and write about what's what's frustrating, what's bothering you. Then you give a basic summary of the things that's led up to all these negative thoughts. And then after you've done your summary, center again, you know, like summary is, is critters. You write down critters, C-R-I-T-T-E-R-S, okay? I'm down home country, you know, guys, give me a break here. So here's the thing, from number one to I don't know how many negative thoughts you've got, you write down the negative thoughts that you've got that's bothering you, and after you've written down each one, say number one, you write down the critter, I've had a stinking, I've had a stinking, lousy, no good day, and then you can put down, okay, you can write down the scripture, gospel response, And you write down a scripture from the Bible or a passage, you know, any passage of scripture. And then, or, or, or a quote, an inspirational quote by the theologian of your choice. And then you cancel it, cancel it negative also out with logical reasoning. You, you put down logical reasoning, semicolon, and then you write down, well, today was not so bad. I had a good lunch with my mother. I, uh, Called a big business contact on the phone. He said he'd get right back to me in a couple of weeks. It's not so bad. And then you 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 go all the way down. And then when you're finished canceling out all your negative thoughts, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Are you ready? We're gonna go through the C, the A, and the P, all all in that order. Okay. Choose. That's what the C stands for, is choose. You make a choice. You, you look at what you've, what you've got, all your options. You make an informed choice. Okay? Now, I have... A, I hold a bachelor's degree in political science at Texas Tech University, okay? And... In some of my training, the pre-law training I had, I learned to divide divide things out. Um, like in, in, in legal briefs and, and of sort, if you will, briefing cases as it's known. And what it is is you write down um, the, the facts of the case, the, the rulings of, of the lower co- courts, the issues, and the decision. And it's kind of it's kind of the processes I've used sometimes to make an informed choice, okay? And so that's that's important. You get to make a choice. The thing is though, you don't get to choose the consequences that come with those choices. So choose wisely, please. Choose wisely. That's very important for you to realize and see right here, right now. Okay? So are you ready? I hope so, because this is this is going to be very, very interesting for you. Alright? Now listen to me. The next part here that you need to do after you made a, 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 a an informed choice is to act. You know, you know what I mean. John F. Kennedy, President John F. Kennedy said this. He said, Great is the price and risk of action. But even greater is the price and risk of inaction. It kind of reminds me of an old country song called uh, A Little Less Talk and No More Action, a lot more action. A little less talk, a lot more action, of course. 
don't necessarily agree with the, the theme of that song, but, you know, it's kind of like you get your informed choice. <laughs> And then you act upon it. It's not rocket science. You make an informed you make an informed choice. You make an informed decision. You act on it. You take action. And because once you've made the choice, a decision to help you further along your success, making a decision, and you take action, that is where you will find kind of the nuggets of success. It, it goes along with what Robert Kiyosaki's talked about. He said, you know, there's the power of these, the, uh, Sword, the mirror, and the jewel. He said too many people are, are, are dealing with the power of the jewel. But they don't think about the power of the, the mirror that, you know, that kind of shines back on your own reflection. And the mirror really is a portal to your choices, okay? I know I'm being kind of mystical here, but, you know, you know how it is. It kind of goes along with something else here in a little bit I'm going to talk to you about. Something that is greatly important if, you're, if you'll hear me out. If you'll hear me out on this. I hope you're ready. The final part, the P, is pursue happiness. Now, when I originally designed this model, this method... It was a C A B choose act be happy. But then I hit a rough spot and I went to see an, a therapist and he said, Well, you know, sometimes we can't just be happy, sometimes we just have to be content. And I kind of wrestled with that a little while, and then I remembered something that the theologian Jeffrey R. Holland said. He said, happiness is like a butterfly. If you chase it, it will elude you. If you wait, it will rest upon your shoulder. The pursuit of happiness, the calm pursuit of happiness, gets it for you. You know what I mean? Because the fact of the matter is, if you're pursuing happiness haphazardly, oh, why am I not so happy? Well, then, you get the pursuit of happiness that's not so nice. That butterfly ain't going to come to you. It's just, it's just going to keep staying away. But it's when you get a change of perspective. Sometimes, I'll tell you something. I used, I developed this method. Thanks to a, a friend of mine, and because he ultimately was one that was blocking my progression, I will go ahead and call him Jim Bob. Okay? Jim Bob helped me develop the method using some of the psychology training that he had. But then over time, it just it just evolved from just a bland, regular uh, uh, cognitive therapy log. To a creator out of me. Now, granted, I've been doing so well the past couple of weeks, I really haven't seen the need to do a creator out of me. But there are times when I've, there have been, there have been times in the past when I've had to do it. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing you need to understand. I developed this method, this model, to, not just to help me, 
But to help you find a better way 